Welcome back to Let's Roger That for a quick tip of the day. If you've got one of these power feeds from a line, the old model, and your gear is stripped, well, follow along and I'll show you how to take it off and how to put the new one back on. Okay, so first of all, you need a 13 millimeter socket or a half inch will do. And remove the nut here, right here. All right, now that is off. And now we're going to tap this very gently. Make sure you don't mess up your thread. Just put the nut back on ever so slightly. There you go. And it is off. And this pops right out. So let's go to the bench and show you the rest. Okay, so this is what the front was looking like, right? So this is what the back looks like. Take one of these, right? Apply some pressure, separate it from the hub. Careful not to get hurt. Wear some eye protection and see how it popped up. Okay, now remember that this has to go back the same way. So locking, locking ring, washer. Then there's two of these little springs here and truly they are gonna be a pain, trust me. So we pop this out, just like that. Put this aside. Look at your new, whatchamacallit. And as you'll see, there's a concave part here and it seats, sits on on here. Put that back on. Okay. Sorry. Put these here. And just to show you, there is, by the way, there's a groove here. So if it's chewed up, just clean it up a little bit with a file, okay? All right. Put that back up here. Spring is on. And now the fun begins because you got to press that down and then put this that clip back in okay to so save yourself a lot of aggravation you can just take some mini c-clamps and once you put put the ring the lock ring initially on and just hold it there with a the clip and you see this side is not on yet right see this is in this is in so I just need to get it in on this portion here and it's done. Okay, so I've got that uh, lock ring back on. I'll bring it a little closer here. As you see here, there's a little pin and you have to make sure that this side goes into it, okay? All right, I believe it's in. This is not an over tightening type of scenario, okay? There, good. Now, something that's interesting about these is that they pop in and out, out and in sort of thing. So let me plug that in. And I'll show you. Machine is on. You see what I mean? It's kind of a screwy system, but it works. While I'm at it, these gears in Canada and the United States go for about $80 US but I got them on AliExpress for $34 Canadian, no tax, free shipping, and it was here in less than two weeks from China. You know what? So I bought three for 34 bucks. So you get the idea. I hope this helped you. So please like and subscribe. Shoot me a comment if you like, and take care. Bye-bye.